Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel and at Bella today and today I'm going to be doing a review of my new Pokemon Aloha region handbook. The stats and facts on over 250 Pokemon. As you know from my previous Pokemon reviews, I've got Pokemon Classic, the new classic handbook. My old classic handbook is in the attic. I've also got this Ultimate Legendary Pokemon book that I got free with, I think, game at one point. And I've done a lovely review on the Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All Deluxe Essential Handbook that has every Pokemon from Kanto to Kalos in it. Um, so that's got 700 Pokemon in. I'm going to show you the differences between each book. So, the Classic Collector's Handbook features the original 151 Pokemon and it goes all the way from beloved Bulbasaur to da -da 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 -da, Mew, who is also beloved. Um, so I'm going to show you one Pokemon in particular and I've chosen Abra because Abra is in all three of these books. So here we have Abra and in the original 151 he was number 63, Kadabra was 64 and Alakazam was 65. We have their evolutionary chart, we have their type, a little bit about them, how to say it, imperial height, metric height, imperial weight, metric weight, and possible moves. We don't have what level they evolve or how they evolve, and we don't have the mega evolution in the classic collector's handbook, because in Kanto, there was no such thing as mega evolution. And in fact, to be absolutely honest, they didn't have steel Pokemon in Kanto. They didn't have dark because they didn't exist in that region. So, as you can somewhat see, and they also didn't have fairy. Fairy was not an official type. Um, Clefable was um, the fairy type Pokemon, but that wasn't an actual type. Um, just so you know. Um, so, we have developed steel, fairy and dark as a thing. Okay, so that's the classic collector's handbook. I'm then going to move on to my deluxe essential collector's handbook and we're going to look at Abra in here. Now, you have Abra, you have its height and weight, you don't have the difference between the metric and the imperial, you have its psychic and you have its possible move, but also you have its mega evolution, which is really important. Um, in here and if I actually whiz on a little bit we also have other Pokemon and their Mega Evolution so you've got Aerodactyl there and you've got this one here which I can't actually pronounce because I'm lazy let's see Agron whatever I can't even say it with the with the guide here's Alakazam look and with Mega Alakazam so you just don't get the Imperial so you get the difference between the metric height and the Imperial height in the classic collectors one in that one you just get a height and a weight and I think it's metric so but this one doesn't tell you what level they evolve but it does have Mega Evolutions in it see look even for Mega Mewtwo and yeah Mega X and Y Mewtwo lovely on to this one, the Aloha Region Handbook. The Aloha Region Handbook is the Hawaiian Region Handbook and it's the one that's currently... It's the current Pokedex, uh, Pokedex of Pokedox. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm collecting a Pokedox. Um, it's the current Pokedex for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So if we open it out... Da -da -da. Contents, meet the Aloha Pokemon, what are Pokemon, how to use this book, guide to Pokemon type, battle basics, choosing the best Pokemon for the job, Pokemon stats and facts. If you don't know what a Pokemon is, I'd be very worried, because um, they've been around for 20 years. Um, all those Pokemon in the Kanto um, Pokedex are 20 years old. So from Bulbasaur to Mew, they're all 20 years old, and a little bit older recently, probably about 21. So here we are, so we've got... Popilo, Rowlet, and Litten. Ah! So, there you are. All the different types, including Steel and Dark and Fairy. And let's just see, because this one should have the Fairy type in. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's got all of them in. Fairy, Dark, Steel. Because they originally were not part of... If you played original Pokemon red, blue or yellow, you didn't have access to them. Or even green. 
Um, so here we have, and we're going to look at the Abra. Um, <coughs> excuse me for coughing. So how to say type, imperial height, metric height, imperial weight, metric weight, possible moves, and a little bit about it. You then have its evolutionary chain that doesn't include the level that it evolves at. But if you go further down, because they start with A and not their Pokemon number, how irritating. This one actually tells you which region they're from, but they only do that because there's six regions in here. Um, this one doesn't have to because they're all from Aloha. And this one has got their classic Pokemon um, number in from the original Kanto. Ah, oh, look! Yeah, 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 okay. Enough nostalgia. Um, as you can look, as you can see here from Alakazam's evolutionary chart, this book does not have mega evolutions at all. But Pokemon Sun and Moon definitely do have mega evolutions in them when you complete the main story of the game. Okay? But the book does not have that. The only book that actually has anything about Mega Evolutions is this one. So the sly people want you to buy all three books. Then you will have all the information you need. Well, you won't. You just have very, very nice pictures because it doesn't tell you when they evolve or how they actually evolve. But you will have lovely pictures of all of the Pokemon. I particularly like the backgrounds um, in this book. So there they are. Look, Lucario, one of my favourites. Oh, I love a look, Lucario. So cute. Yeah, Lilliput. Lilliput. Like a Lilliput. Anyway, moving on. Lapras. Oh, Lapras. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, and it's also got the Ultra Beasts in here as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Ultra Beasts are, I suggest you complete your game. Um, and check out the Ultra Beast quest that happens at the end of the main story in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Look, a nose pass. I finally got one of those. I have like 14 Pokemon to get, um, and then I would have completed this Pokedex. So I'm very excited about that. Woohoo! But I do need a King's Rock. Actually, I need two King's Rocks. And I need a Spidel. So, there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this review of books. Yeah, this one contains all the Pokemon from the Aloha region, including the starters, Ultra Beasts, Legendaries. I'm not sure if it actually has some of the other Pokemon that you can get because there's um, a lot of Pokemon that you can get with codes um, for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Check out the Pokemon website itself. The official Nintendo one. Um, yeah, because Much Alax was one that you could get um, with a code. And I'm just checking for the um, man-made Pokemon, that special one, because you can get that at the end of the game. Yeah, Magira. Uh, nope, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Magirun. Sorry. Magiran, you can get this one with a special code from the Pokemon website after you've completed the main story, of course, and you will get that um, Pokemon in your um, Pokemon Sun or Moon game if you follow the instructions for the mystery gift option and you get the code. Well, actually, it's one of those, um, I think it's the QR scanner thing to actually get that one, but yeah. So I'm quite pleased that that one's actually in here. I wonder if the other legendary is in here. Yeah, that really weird one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, some of the Ultra Beasts are a little bit weird. For my liking. But I kind of embrace the concept. I'm not too sure about Ultra Pokemon um, Moon and Sun, though. Some people are saying that it's not, not going to be like Pokemon at all. But I kind of like um, exploring that extra world. You know, the um, world that's in between... Um, the other space ah yes and you can also get this legendary pokemon in the game um at the end though somebody thinks it's an ultra beast it's not this is the first ultra beast you can get um so yes hope you've enjoyed looking at those and the differences between them one two three um i am going to show you my pokemon ultimate legendary book because it's quite cute and it's quite succinct so we've got the three birds good old zapidos Articuno, Moltres, Mewtwo, Mew, Raikou, Entei, 
and Tay, Susan, Ho Hoan, Lugia, Celebi, Jarash, the Wishmaker, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Ragas, yeah. And then these ones, Groundon was the one I got. I can't even pronounce that one, sorry. Um, Reiku, Doxies, Latas, Latos, Garatina, whatever how you hell you pronounce these ones. Some more stuff I can't pronounce. These ones from X and Y, can't pronounce them either. Zygarde. I've called my Zygarde Zane, and he's currently in his 50% form. So, um, I'm hoping to get that. I've got Hoopa. Never actually owned a Hoopa in my life. Can't pronounce those ones either. Gensect, can pronounce that. There we go. I've got Luna, and I want to get um, a Solero, if, if I'm pronouncing that right. But I do have a Mean Spirit. Yay! I think they're so cute. I've taught my mean spirit um, Thunder Wave. It's a brilliant attack for it to learn because it's a psychic Pokemon. Anyway, um, and I use it to help me catch other legendaries. Yes, a legendary to get legendaries. I recommend it and loads and loads of Ultra Balls. So, yes, we have successfully compared all three Pokemon books, including the new... Aloha region handbook. We've looked at the deluxe essential handbook. I'm loving that this one's got shiny shiny on it And we've got the classic collectors handbook which has been updated but With new graphics, but the Pokemon are the same. So for people like me It makes me feel kind of happy and you've got a lovely index as well. I wonder if the other ones have got indexes mm. No, it just sort of stops at Zygarde there Woo And then this one stops at Zygarde so here we have, we have the back. There is also the legend, mythical, um, legendary and mythical um, Pokemon guide book that you can get. But I'm not going to get that because I have this one. And I don't, really don't see the point when I have all the Ultra Beasts in here and all the new legendaries in here already. There is 250 Pokemon in there. There's 700 um, plus Pokemon in there. To be absolutely honest, I have got absolutely no clue how many Pokemon there are in total because some of these Pokemon are actually Kanto Pokemon. Now, this is the big question. The big question is, do we class... See? Do we class Diglett, Aloha form, as a separate type of Pokemon from Diglett... She says as she can't flick through and she can't find it. Do we class... Oh, Oddish, I love an Oddish. From Kanto, Diglett, because they are different. I mean, yes, this one, uh, the Aloha one's got three little hairs on top and these ones have got um, Boris Johnson wigs on their heads for no reason. Anyway, um... A separate Pokemon. I'm going to go with yes, but I am absolutely one of the Pokemon that I really, really like... What they've done with it is muck. I really, really like his new rainbow colour scheme rather than the purple blob that he is in Kanto. And I really, really like this one because you can get loads of different colour um, core forms. Like indigo and blue and purple and all sorts and green and yellow. Um, just because we can. So please like, comment and subscribe. And I'm sorry if I've randomly babbled about Pokemon to you.